It's one of mankind's oldest and most effective to tools going all the way back to the Stone Age, the knife. These days, of course, most kitchen knives are made in big factories. But some, just a few, are still crafted entirely by hand and they're coveted by chefs around the world. Our Terrell Brown found a modern knife maker right here in New York City. Good morning, Terrell. Hey, Anthony, good morning to you. Joel Buckowitz is one of only about 15 people that can make top shelf kitchen knives by hand. And it turns out the people that want them are willing to pay top dollar. There's something that it gives me that nothing else does. Not everyone sees sparks fly just talking about what they do for a living. I think that making a tangible thing rewards me, sort of gives back to me in a very acute way. Joel Buckowitz is one of them. I make and sell um, handmade kitchen knives, from chef's knives to uh, butchering knives. I mean, think of a kid in high school, they talk about or think about what they're going to do when they get older. Mm. I'm not sure that this is one of those things that immediately comes to mind. For me, it wasn't either. You know, I was on sort of the college track. Uh, I went to graduate school uh, where I met my wife uh, and we got MFAs in fiction writing. But after failing to sell a novel and unable to complete a second, Buckowitz took a break from the abstract and found solace in the material. On the surface, it seems very, very different. One is seem seemingly kind of chaotic and violent, and you've got sparks and dust and all this stuff. Writing, to me, it was, it's the hardest thing that I've ever done. So hard. Buckowitz says he was hooked on knife making from the beginning. I think it was making something that I knew would be useful. I just kept chasing it. I made another and another, and um, that was it. He learned the craft by reading books and joining online forums with other craftsmen. There are a, a handful of very simple steps, and it's a matter of mastering those steps and sort of, you know, learning to get really good at a handful of things. And then just getting in your shop and like trying not to lose a finger or something like that, you know? <laughs> like that's kind of it. Ten years later, Buckowitz has his own studio and two assistants. They make about nine different styles of knives by hand. If I want a knife from you or a yeah. set of knives, how much am I going to pay? Uh, it kind of depends on what kind of knife you want, but anywhere from, for say, like a small petty or a, a pairing size knife, around three hundred and fifty dollars. Three hundred fifty? Yeah, yeah. Up to around six hundred dollars for a chef's knife. Is it hard to sell a six hundred dollar knife? Not for me, I guess. Um, what I do is, is we're open twice a week, there you go. and folks will come in during those shop hours, and whatever doesn't end up walking out the door selling on a shop day on Saturday. I just take a photograph of it and I put it sort of front and center on my website and usually they're gone within like a couple hours. Professional chefs and avid cooks are willing to pay top dollar to get a handmade knife that just a small handful of people are even able to make. There's like a moment and hopefully you'll feel it when you cut and you go, wow. Yeah, you go. Wow. Jeez. Like a true artisan, Buckowitz controls his designs. For the most part, he does not take custom orders. I make the stuff that I'm excited about making, that at any given time I feel that I want to make. And um, I put them out there into the world for people to purchase. And if they purchase them, great. You seem like you're doing a pretty good job. It's working out OK. <laughs> Buckowitz feels fortunate to be at what he says is the intersection of food and craft. His customers aren't just the locals, but he gets chefs from all over the world who come to New York just because they've heard about his knives. Benita Anthony. He's really kind of an artist, isn't yeah. he? I mean, the how paper thin that was. I mean, it's You could true. literally see through it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it was Sharper great. the knife, mm -hmm. the safer it is when you cook also. <laughs> Not in my place. <laughs> <laughs> Darrell Brown, thanks.